Geez, where are those guys? They were supposed to be here 10 minutes ago. Sorry I'm late. I was busy getting my helmet fitted. It's hard to find something to properly encase a cranium this magnificent. Donald, that doesn't fit you at all. Oh, says you, Barack. You're not even wearing a helmet. That's because we're playing football, you know? The one with the round ball. What? You mean we're playing soccer and not football? Oh, that is so unpatriotic. Look, we didn't want to upset the international viewers, so we chose to call it football, remember? You are such a pushover, Barack. No wonder you didn't get elected again. Donald, I can only run for two terms. It was literally impossible for me to be elected again. Oh, you would make an excuse like that, wouldn't you? Sorry I'm late, fellas. George, what kind of ball is that? We're supposed to be playing football. Well, actually, it's soccer. Soccer? But I thought you said we were playing football. George, my man, you don't look like a footballer to me. Where's your helmet? What, you never heard of rugby football before? Geez, you two are so uncultured. Look, it's fine. As soon as Joe gets here, we can play and your outfits won't matter. Sorry I'm late, guys. It was hard finding a pair of trunks that would fit me. Clearly, I'm not the athletic specimen that I used to be. Seriously, Joe? We're supposed to be playing football. Well, actually, it's soccer. Soccer? But I thought you said we were going to the beach. Would you look at that, fellow former presidents? The current commander-in-chief is half-naked in public. Better hope there are no children around or you might get arrested. Come on, Donald. That was totally uncalled for. Oh, really? You know what else was uncalled for? That outfit. You look ridiculous. The huh, what? You're literally the one wearing that Mount Rushmore-sized helmet. If we get in a scrum, Donald, there's nothing stopping me from dominating that fat ass of yours. Oh, that sounded so hot. Look, let's just play it. We have four players, so how about we start with a little two-on-two -two action? Oh, I can't wait to double-team you, George. Whoa, guys, what's with all the lewd euphemisms? Might get old Joe here a little too excited. Oh, my God. What is it now, Donald? Creepy Joe over here has just popped a boner in broad daylight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, what the hell? What? How is this my fault? You were the one saying all those dirty words. You are a sad, sad man, Joe. What, did you decide to pop a few Viagra pills before putting your Speedos on? You are such a loser. Oh, guys, you might want to come take a look at this. George, what could possibly be more important than... Oh, shit. A group of 30 school children are coming this way. Quickly, we have to hide Joe's Viagra boner. Whoa, hold on. I never said I took any Viagra pills. Quickly, Donald, hide his Viagra-infused boner with your giant helmet. I said I never took any Viagra. No way am I letting my helmet anywhere near that thing. Donald, if you don't hand over your helmet, we're all going to get arrested. Okay, fine. Just make sure you clean it before you give it back. Great, now he looks completely naked behind that thing. Excuse me, Presidents, but would you mind me asking as to why Mr. Biden over here is completely naked other than that giant football helmet? Look, officer, it's not what it looks like. Yeah, he's only half naked. And the helmet isn't that big. Is that so? Well, why don't you hand it over and show me what you're hiding, Mr. Biden? Oh, that's so hot. Asking me to undress in a public place like this? What the hell is wrong with you, Joe? Excuse me? If you don't remove that helmet now, then I'll have you all arrested for indecent exposure. We've got no choice, Joe. You're going to have to remove the helmet. But, but I don't want it anymore. Hand it over, Mr. Biden. No way, man. Fine. I'll just have to take it by force. I want my mommy. Oh, you got to be shitting me. You decide to dress half naked in public, then pop a Viagra pill when a bunch of school children come by. You are a sick, sick man, Mr. Biden. But I never took any Viagra, I swear. You're coming with me, sunshine. You're gonna be locked up for good. You too, Mr. Obama. Me? But what did I do? I didn't like your attitude is what you did. You're both going to prison for life. Oh, this be some bullshit. Well, Donald, it looks like it's just the two of us. You know, us Republicans have got to stick together. Shut the hell up, George. This is as serious as it gets. I know. There's no way old Joe is going to survive in prison. I can't believe he took my helmet. That thing was brand new. We really should try to help them. That's for another video, George. That's for another video. Why, hello there, Mr. President. Would any of you be up for a friendly game of checkers? That depends. Will your sister and her giant milkers be coming along? Yeah, I'm only playing if I get to stare at your sister's huge titties.